Scientists have proven what many of us have learned the hard way. Good for you, scientists. Gluten, dairy, and other processed foods trigger addictive responses in the same way commonly abused drugs do. The more processed, i.e. high carb and fatty the food is, the more likely it is to cause addiction. And the most addictive foods contain cheese, with pizza being top honors. This is due in part to the high glycemic load of these foods. Processed carbs like pizza crust or a donut are rapidly absorbed by the body and quickly spike blood sugar before causing it to crash. This triggers areas of the brain as well as hormonal responses that stimulate cravings. In fact, in a 2013 study, scientists used brain scans to observe brain function after subjects ate food high in processed carbohydrates as well as foods low on the glycemic index, such as veggies. And no surprise here, they observed, observed that the subjects who ate the processed foods were hungrier and experienced surges and crashes in blood sugar in contrast to the low glycemic eaters. They were also more prone to overeat and to choose more high glycemic foods compared to the low glycemic eaters, whose blood sugar remained stable, creating a vicious cycle. Brain scans showed the subjects eating the starchy foods also exhibited more blood flow to the right side of the brain in areas associated with the reward, pleasure, and cravings in high glycemic eaters. This can drive people to overeat and indulge in yet more starchy foods, perpetuating a vicious cycle even further. We also know high carb foods cause imbalances in the hormones insulin and leptin which increase hunger and promote fat storage over fat burning. Gluten and dairy can be addictive for additional reasons. They actually trigger an opioid response in the brains of some people. In fact, these people may go through very uncomfortable withdrawals when they go cold turkey off these foods. I've had patients that have had a really, really hard time with this. I mean, really hard. The opioid created by the digestion of milk protein is called casomorphin, while the gluten opioid is called gluteomorphin, the key root being morphin, as in morphine. These food-derived opioids activate the same opioid receptors in the brain that respond to prescription pain pills and heroin. The effect is compounded in processed cheese and processed gluten products. And what cheese or gluten product is not processed? Yeah, all of them. The worst part of a food-based opioid sensitivity is that going gluten-free or dairy-free can cause severe withdrawal symptoms. These can include depression, mood swings, or worsened gut problems. All things that are supposed to get better when you stop eating those things. FYI, it takes time to make a difference and get through the tough part. It's similar to heroin or pain pill withdrawals, only not as severe. Because gluten and dairy are the most common causes of food sensitivities, many people have to eliminate them from their diet. Although this is difficult for most everyone, for the person who also experiences opioid responses to them, going gluten-free and dairy-free can mean a couple of weeks or more of misery. So if this is you or know it may be you, Plan ahead and know you'll have to weather the withdrawal symptoms until you've kicked the addiction. It's important to further support yourself by avoiding high glycemic processed foods so you don't trigger your brain's craving mechanisms even more. You also need to make sure you take care of the rest of your body and make sure you're functioning correctly and have the optimal nutritional levels. So go kick the addiction. I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy. Be happy.